the length and defensive utility of Marion, and they come to double and get it out of Lynn's hands with Nowitzki. Fields comes across the baseline for now. That's how, that's how you stop that, Mike. Why doesn't he just hit the free man, meaning Jeremy Lynn? It's very difficult to see. And Fields on the outside hits the three because Lynn got past Marion. Lynn moves to get his own shot and knocks it down. Jeremy Lynn. High basketball IQ. Gets to the basket. Nice. Slipped inside to Stoudemire. And even though the defense is better than the other teams he's played so far, good start for Lynn. Now just watch out. He, he, he checked to see if the double team was coming, and then he went right and looked for the three. That, that was beautiful. Now right here, he's going to take it down in. You're going to come to me with the seven-footers. I will always find to the JR. JR Smith gives you an incredible athlete who can score like 13 a game for you throughout his career. Lynn off the dribble to the basket for two. Lynn out of the corner for three. Got him all! And Mike D'Antoni points to JR Smith, not known as a pass first guy, for being unselfish there. Oh, you had to take that one for the corner. But the main thing is, is stay within what we're doing, and we'll spot up in the chance for a second chance opportunity. Comes to the basket over Nowitzki yeah. for two. <laughs> Finishes over the finals MVP. After one, at the Garden, the Knicks. Early lead joined by Rick Carlisle and coach. Um, I'm happy that the time's over. And the Mavericks have turned it around as Dirk has turned it around. Amari Stoudemire. Move. Remember the bench points by Dallas. They're second in the league to Philadelphia. Win on the takeaway oh, nice. to field. as a center physically and mentally gave such a defensive edge to the championship team from Dallas. Nice. Lynn got in the lane, connects over Jason Kidd. Are 12 and 5 on the road. That's a great stat. With nice find to Chandler inside as he drew the defensive attention, able to slip it through for two. Mike, thanks so much. Jeremy, you said each and every game is getting harder because you're on scouting reports, they're learning your tendencies. What are they taking away from you in this first half? Um, they're double teaming off the pick and rolls, and uh, they have Marion on me, so it's a little longer, but it's a good opportunity just to drag the defense out and then let everybody else make a play. Obviously, J.R. Smith coming off the bench and to the team, uh, just a big addition, so we got to move the ball. Talking about J.R. Smith, First time any of you guys have ever played with them, and obviously for you to distribute to him. What are your early impressions? Uh, he can he can shoot, he can score, he's a playmaker. So uh, anytime you get someone like that, it only helps. We'll let you get to the locker room. Thanks, Jeremy. Heather, thank you. Lynn played 21 and a half for the 24. Come on, that was it. <laughs> he did it in slow motion. We don't have to, you know, slow down that video replay. Okay. <laughs> but Shepard comes right back on this end. Six have numbers three on two. Nice. Lynn to field. I say Nowitzki is the four for four and threes. It's opening up his low post game and mid range game. Lynn hangs and scores to Jeremy Lynn. Back in the scoring column here. Now at the other end, Lynn just keeps his dribble, and this is where he's difficult. Mainly because he didn't take it all the way to the rim. Why? The previous three back around the next. Novak to catch, Novak, J.R. Smith, and Lynn. Jeremy on the drive, and one for Jeremy Lin. Got the bang in the bucket. The reason why that basket is so big, Jerry Lee Lin had one turnover at halftime. He had three in this quarter, but he is not going to stop attacking the basket. That's what you love about his game, above the rim. But he's shooting 46 and three, so you've got the bar. Oh, right. Come on, now. He came out of that last timeout. He knew that he turned it over three times in this quarter, and now look what he did. He said, I'm going right back down inside, and I'm going to challenge. He has the ability to take the hit at 6'3", 200, and readjust the shot. Watch this. See, that's the beauty of his game once he gets into it. They're doing an excellent job. The pressure in the backcourt. Oh, and win the steal to the basket. And right back. These like Seth Myers to their feet. Great defense by Jeffries. Lynn the takeaway. He has 22 points, eight assists, three steals, four turnovers in this game. From Chinatown to Midtown, all over the city. There he's rolling. Lynn in the paint. No back for three in the tie. There Got them all. Jeff Van Gundy always says that's the best three-point shooter he's ever seen. Steve. 
Watch as he goes down inside. See, he's reading this perfectly now. Anytime that you have that congestion, the corners are open. And Novak, one of the better three-point shooters of them, four by Fields and three by Lynn. Novak. Just don't the force three. anything. Takes the two. Oh, have a big sweep. Lynn on the push for the Knicks. Finds Novak for three. Got him all again. And a timeout for Dallas. Gone. A little pressure on them. And Steve Novak's hit a couple of big shots here in the second half. Eight points in three minutes. Helping give the Knicks a one-point lead. Cans, and they can trap, and they can get the steal, and then get out in the open floor. Look at this guy. Oh, Look man. at this guy. Feeling it. Oh, Steve Novak. Novak's drifting in the corner. Lynn over Dirk. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> Time out, Dallas. How good is this? <laughs> the ball back out and Novak hit now what Jeremy Lin right here right over the top of Dirk Nowitzki back to back threes under pressure the guard oh, Jeremy the champs Lin. in the building and the story of the league Linsanity. It's Linsanity. This is a great story. I love this story. It's an underdog story. Who doesn't like an underdog story? This kid is ready for this moment. He's a winner. Came from nothing to greatness. We have a true point guard in Jeremy Lin. Jeremy Lin is everything New York. He's got that swagger. He has shined and evolved into the best story in sports today. They do it to J.R. Smith as well. The clock's at four, and it's going to have to be Lin. And it's oh. three again! Stop it! Stop it! I mean, the clock was ready to go down and out, and he's behind, and he had absolutely no lane. He could not dribble. We approach two minutes. Jeremy Lin at 38 against the Lakers. He has 28, equaling his second high game in this run. The Knicks. Novak tipped it. Oh, look got up! It. Look up! Headman J.R. Smith. Great look. Great look. And a great release by J.R. Smith. This run he had 13 against Sacramento on Wednesday. Yeah, this is just a great look. Oh, you always look down the floor. But give J.R. a lot of credit. When that ball was out, he just blew out. And created that passing lane. Novitski tied up, great taken steal. away. Great steal. Jeremy Lin, his fifth steal of this game. And he headmans to Chandler for the exclamation point. The show continues on Broadway. And how about that? Jason Kidd, the first guy over there. And the respect that he is receiving from these uh, Maverick players. And the energy he's provided, not just to the Knicks, but to one of the hardest to please fan bases in all of sport.